31 PD arrested two humans and a sectoid for removing their dampeners at the promenade. The arresting officer downplayed the psionic disturbance. This was a political demonstration that got out of hand. Nothing more. A protester on the scene disagreed. The dampeners are painful. We should be able to live as naturally as anyone else. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Progeny communication is almost entirely psionic. On occasion, they use conventional means. Recent chatter has had frequent mentions of Archons. See if you can learn why. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. We're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. I can't remember what we did last time, so I'm sure I already got the wrong thing from the scavenger market with our free buy. Part of me wants to think that we got the superior laser sight, but I still went with the extended magazine this time because pet codex is effectively offline. because uh i think that's gonna work better for us now what was i gonna say the the game audio on some of those earlier videos is way quieter than i thought it was so i can sit with it higher and i just need to adjust my mixer still a work in progress but i can just turn it up in the editing which is what i've been doing this is also like i'm saying this in the video it's probably gonna come out like at least a month before uh this is coming out a month after the last video the videos that i was editing came out i'm describing stuff that's happening that's happened a month ago right now to ya at least for me it's like a week apart and i'm not doing anything in the game just sitting here rambling Right now we have enough of everything and neither of these districts are terribly high. I think I need to pull this one down though. Yeah, I do. Cause this has eight days left. So each eight, eight of those days is going to take into the city anarchy. So for now I'll pull this down and do this one to Cause eight days is way too long to try and manage that unrest, especially with it automatically going up in a second though, we're going to have to deal with the unrest in this district. Cause it's going to go all the way to five, which is when you start running into issues. This right now, this will reduce it by, I think one, cause I don't have, I do. Okay. So it will bring it down by two. Uh, yeah, I think everyone on the team has been here. Is everyone using a fancy weapon? I have a superior magazine also to give out to somebody. I'm going to take away his advanced one and give him the superior one since I know he's going to be shooting more than Axiom. All right. There's a magazine and a scope. Which one do we go for here? Reload one free action. I know he has an ability somewhere in his tree where he, uh, he has an ability where it changes either like the first shot in the clip or the last shot in one of his clips or the last shot to deal double damage in his clips. We didn't go with that one. We went with the. I think we went with one that lets the. Uh, his little laser shot deal bonus damage as it passes through people. You have a hollow scan. I'd rather have that than a ceasefire. My cascading shot, man shot. His land shot deals more damage as it passes through more people instead of the last shot in his clips dealing double damage. Uh, if we did, then I was going to take away his expanded magazine and give him an auto loader or something like that since we'd be wanting the last shot in his clip. But I think I didn't do that one because it was relying on being the last shot in the clip. Jesus, it took me forever to explain that. Probably too long. I don't want to go for this alert enemy. It's just an acolyte, and I don't think it has any alert abilities like the phalanx did. Or the not phalanx. It was the guardians. They had a uh, ability that would shield everybody. That was something that we needed to take out anyways, because we weren't trying to deal with a whole bunch of enemies having extra health. And this looks like the archon that we were talking about here, or at least that uh, director Kelly was talking about.
Because right now it's in stasis. Progeny reinforcements incoming. Protect that Archon. Uh, clear the turret. Find someone who isn't in chains. Okay. So we're not supposed to let them kill these things. There's only one encounter, so I'm going to go ahead and psych all the way up. And... First, I want to send them after the number two, dude. Because we can for sure take number two out of the turn order. If we hit, right? And then go for the number three person. Because if we get a uh, an effect on them or something like that, then the turn is going to be essentially ruined. Yeah, exactly that. That worked out as, as I wanted it to. So that was pretty good. Now, Shelter has chain shot now from his gun. Take a shot with an aim penalty of 15%. If you hit the target, takes another shot on the target automatically. Okay, cool. Also gross. Go for a soul fire on number two. And we can use the motel induce. I want to use this on Axiom. It gives him another turn immediately, pretty much. I want to do this because otherwise it's going to be a whole bunch of people between him and uh between his next turn and he's not standing in a good spot to keep getting shot at. Have you used subdue on somebody? That we I didn't mean to do that. All right. I clicked off of the person on accident, which meant that it was going to do whatever I'd last chosen. That's some bullshit. If I relocate with number two, it'll push that turn down the turn order. And that puts him right in the spot to where I could take a shot with Claymore and probably kill them. And you can use soul fire on the number three. Can't even see them. The number 12 or the number five then to push them further down in the turn order. Now him, this will go off for so it's going to go off before both of them. So I'll Don't drop that there. Stay back. It's gonna blow. And now the rupture too, so it'll be taking more damage. Drop this over here. And now I want to see. The sticky grenade, this is gonna, yeah, it will. And I'll take the shot on the person who's right in front of me, the number three person. Or just use subdue. I'm gonna go for the shot though, because subdue might not kill, and I don't wanna take any unnecessary damage. I think, if it'll let, I'm gonna just do it. Yeah, all right. Got tired of it trying to move the mic for some reason. This is running anyways. He's definitely going to try and retaliate on Claymore. Which is fine. If he did that on Blue Blood, that would have been more of an issue because then we would have lost that turn. But he has... Deadeye, which I want to do first. Which he can do here. I want to do Deadeye first because it says it's, if it's the first move in a turn. Lightning hands can be done at any point for free. I just do it in that order or try and do it in that order just in case it tries to mess me up with the wording and if we use subdue on the number three person even if it doesn't kill if they try to move uh he'll take another shot at them saw me coming. and now he's an overwatch for whatever happens either way now i can use subdue from here I don't know where these enemies are going to come in from either because it says there's going to be reinforcements on the way. Uh, just have you move to here. There's a very low chance to hit, but we might as well try. I should give him a stock. That way when he misses, he's still doing damage. Let's go for a shot. Yeah. Target dropped. 
Oh, does he have trank rounds? So I could have did that anyways and it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It says we have to protect the Archon. Last time, Archons were just enemies automatically. I think it's because we didn't have the chance to stop this dark event. I guess I'll move it to over here. And then we have, okay, we have a breach point here, here, and one over here. I want to move blue blood to this side. I don't want to put them right there though. I need these audacity to right here. That way he's going into overwatch and hopefully his shot doesn't get wasted on something across the map. If other stuff is also coming here. I have him. Move to this location. I'm trying to get into overwatch with both of these doors. Something like this. That way they step in this direction and they step anywhere closer, they're going to get shot at. And I have him over here, him guarding both of those doors. Claymore doesn't get a turn yet. Uh, did I dash him? I don't think I didn't mean to dash shelter. There's a melee attack and a burnout. Bombard a large area with explosive shells. Can be done in this dash him to like right here. Let me get him somewhere safe because I have to keep him alive for three waves of this onslaught. It's gonna be a long mission. So hopefully Axiom gets a shot off. This is not what I wanted. I was hoping that uh oh well both of them came here, so that's fine actually. Should be able to take both of them out pretty easily on this next turn. Shrapnel bomb is gonna go. It's not gonna go off in the right turn order. It goes off after the number three person. And then you can go into Overwatch or up here. You can use Dead Eye. No, you just go for a shot. Because either way, it wasn't going to take an action. And I was still going to be able to move, which is what I was trying to do. Moving to right here. For Axiom. Now, he's overwatching that. Axiom can do the, the same angle he just did last time. Just something like this. And then shelter and watch this door specifically. And this thing, I think, can stay. I'm gonna put it right here. I just hope nothing in here is gonna blow up. But this will give a cover from both of those angles and leave it open to that one completely. That's kind of the best spot that we have for total protection in the turn. Okay, it looks like this is that means they're gonna go for that. Yeah, that one's gonna be aiming for the the archon. They both still up there. Oh, that's not good. It keeps flashing back to not where it was. I was doing this earlier when I was playing by myself. And it's annoying because stuff like that happens where I'm having to move my team out of range of an explosive that I threw. gonna go off before shelter's turn how big is this explosion it looks like it's not gonna hurt shelter so i'm gonna trust the game i don't know why because it hasn't done me well before you can't see the number two dude okay well let's still take this shot then your second shot oh why can't I shoot it again? Yeah, now it's only letting me shoot at that thing. I use a land shot that's gonna end my turn, right?
I do it like this. Light it up. Right. Take that. Sh oh, that ends the turn. Well, that was my plan done. I was going to try and use the land shot and then move him over. So it'd be in position. Or move him so he have an angle and then move on the overwatch. Um... I don't think he's even more. It looked like the number seven dude just flinched when that explosion went off, but I don't think he lost any health. Either way, the stuff right next to him looks like it's finna explode. But we haven't been putting people in Overwatch either. Okay. I'll have you. Nothing's coming through that door, so I'm gonna anger you more towards this one. Just an assumption that it's gonna cycle through all of them since it did do that one and that one. I still haven't had to use anything for you. Like you can still stay right there. Actually, I should have moved it to the other side knowing what I just thought out loud. Or saying what I just thought out loud. You can drop this on both of them and have it go off before them both. Never mind. It's not going to go off on both of them. Use team up. I don't need Archon on axiom have axiom go next and you can prepare actually because you don't have an angle oh you're not in a good you don't have good cover that things might be about to explode some one of these things might be flammable because that one's smoking so i don't know if i want to use it for cover oh we can get right here okay cool and I'm gonna dash you up to here. I don't think that's too close for that explosive. Oh, the, that definitely. Use running gun then. Coming for you. I'm moving back to right here. And go for a shot on. Really, either one of them. Oh wait. Number three? Yeah, I should probably go for a shot on number three. No, because blue blood can take that. I go for a shot on the throw. So that thing's definitely gonna die by the time it gets to his turn now. Well then we'll do this first. This is our lower shot, but we want to do more damage to them, right? And then we really want to do our best to just hit this number two dude because that's going to kill it. I could just use subdue, which I'm going to do actually. Just going to leave him in overwatch also. I don't want to be too close to these things that might explode. You're under arrest. Because watch, they're going to blow up now that I'm right next to him. Oh, okay, cool. We won. And we did pretty good. Only light harm. Uh, the Archon is back at its sanctuary. It expresses its thanks, to, thanks for our help. I think the message is basically well song haiku at any rate the sanctuary guardians say they will act actively watch for the progeny we got three enemies so we have a 60 percent chance to get that at plus 20 and so to the mercenaries we know today. Yeah, I thought nobody was in charge of Shrike. So did I, but that's what Advent thought when Shrike was a resistance network. Is he our connection to Atlas? 
Maybe he is Atlas, or maybe he's dead. Until we know, he remains a person of interest. I don't remember getting that uh that cutscene or that talk in the first one. We found someone who could be Atlas early on. I'm checking inventory. All right. How's your gear? Still there. You are such an ass. At least I have one. <laughs> That's bullshit. I say at least I have one. Okay, so this is Shelter's last ability. So far, I don't think his abilities have been too, too uh, flashy, I'd say. They're definitely useful. Shelter creates a Sonic clone that can use the Sonic ability to relocate in Soul Fire. One use permission. I wonder how long that lasts, because that sounds pretty cool. And in a second, we're going to take him off the scene and put him in for the, uh, for training. Yeah, we got a Anarchy event here. All right, hang on a second. She learned tag team, which I want to know what it is. I don't never seen it. I didn't realize we didn't put her through her basic training yet. So I guess we'll finish training her all the way up. That way she's fully ready. Uh, our anarchy is still at one. I thought it was going to go up to two once this one hit that hit right there. But for now, I guess we're going to be forced to do this mission almost. We we'll still have idle agents going for the master crafted armor. I guess I forgot to put terminal. Well, not even, I guess. I know I forgot to put terminal back in last time. Well, at least now I know. Uh, Training is gone now. Didn't get anything new here. Oh, what am I finna check? Today's Saturday, so we just missed upgrading stuff for the sake of upgrading it to get more money on Fridays. I'm gonna upgrade this one because when I have to do stuff to this district for the, um, I'm trying to bring it back down to normal, I'm gonna need everything I can there. Do I still have enough? No, I don't. But for now, we're going to be doing this mission. Actually, we're not because I don't have time to do that in this episode. So thanks for watching. I'm King of Adding. Uh, you can follow my other socials in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.